This video from Sharp Help, we're taking a look at how to set up your XEA507 register to work with a barcode scanner. Um, now, if you've already got your barcode scanner, uh, this video presumes that you've got a scanner that is preloaded with software and the correct cabling and wiring so that it will communicate with a 307. Because Sharp themselves aren't a barcode scanner manufacturer, you need to be careful when you're ordering your barcode scanner and make sure that it's compatible to work with the 507. Uh, presuming that that is the case, that you have got the correct cabling and software configuration on your barcode scanner, there's a setting that you need to change on the register um, to make sure that the scanner and tool will communicate. It's, it's really easy to do, it's just hidden away in the programming um, section. So we'll show you how to do it. You press mode and then number six to go into program mode, then arrow down to setting, and then we want line 11, device config, and then line six, which scanner uh, settings. The only setting you should need to change is the top one. So you press TMST, arrow up to the different option, and then TLNS to save, and then escape cancel to come back to the main mode. Now when you scan your barcode, the scanner should beep and read the barcode um, and if you, it's one you've already programmed in then it will come up with the description and the price if it's one that you haven't programmed in before it will come up with an undefined code message um, which you can either escape cancel from or you can type in a price and an emergency department to assign it to so yeah that's the basics of setting up your uh, free 507 to work with a barcode scanner. Uh, there's more videos appearing on screen now which you're welcome to watch. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.